Shalom. Brother Kabab back with another GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only God and Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible and Ruel. I know Shalom, not a sincere eye throughout the four corners of the earth. <clears throat> pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity and in El Shalom to all you sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, not just his to the world, but doers as well. You men, women, and children, the hopeful elect, Shalom. I came across this article in the New York Post. <clears throat> it says, daughter alleged, allegedly beats mom to death with pen, then makes chilling admission on 911 call sources. All right. And, you know, and these are, uh, are, uh, are, uh, curses that will befall the Israelites. This is, uh, uh, you know, like this is another video on, you know, who the curses, uh, who the Israelites are, you know, the, the curses are cleaving, still cleaving to us until the Lord comes back, man. This is crazy. It says a Bronx woman beat her mother to, de to death with a cooking pan, cooking pot, then called 911 to uh, confess to the brutal killing. Sources were shocked. Family members said Skadija Patterson, 26, recently been released from a mental health treatment facility when she alleged bludgeoned 46 year old Selma McLean inside the apartment. Um, in in the Bronx on Monday at three forty a.m., cops and sources say. So this is the mother right here, Selma McLean. <clears throat> suffered trauma to the face and head in the brutal attack from a frying pan. <clears throat> Says. Mm, let me see if there's anything else I want to before I go into the scriptures. Um, she was pronounced dead at the scene. Daughter was taken into custody, but did not, did not face any charges. <clears throat> By the late afternoon, cops said, didn't face any charges. Wow. And this is the daughter. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Skadija Sk Sk Patterson. Alleged use a frying pan to fatally bludgeon her mother. And look at her. You can tell she got heavy, heavy spirits, heavy demons on her, man. Let's see here. It says she was in a psych ward in February until last week, Reynolds said. <clears throat> Reynolds is the... McLean's goddaughter, okay, says she started hearing voices and started speaking in a man's voice last night. My godmother says she was afraid. Jamila says she was scared because Khadijah was saying that the voices in her head were telling her that that was dangerous. Mm. You know, she's plagued with, with spirits, man. All right. And um, you're going to see more situations and, and um, judgments like these <clears throat> in these latter times, man. This is um, Matthew 10 and 34. It says, um, Think not I'm come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. And this is the Lord speaking. Oh, you hear me call uh, uh, Jebus, whose real name is in the ancient Hebrew, Jehovahshai, which means he deliverer, he saves his people. All right. I mean, I mean, just look at how the Lord, our Lord and Savior went out when he was on the earth. Of course, he's going to come back with the sword. Of course, he's not coming back with peace, especially the two thirds of the nation of Israel. Reading on, it says, For I am come to set at variance. 
right? Against, I come to say a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother. All right. And in this situation, you know, this woman was plagued with demons, man. She had unclean spirits. She was, she was hearing, hearing and had unclean spirits on her, which caused her to go against her mother in a violent way. It says, and the daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. All right? And this woman's enemy was her own daughter and her own household. All right? Look at her. You know, it's a saying... I brought you in this world and I'll take you out. Well, the daughter said, you brought me in this world and I'm going to take you out, mom. You know, that, that that's 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 crazy, man. But hey, that, 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 you know, seeing things like this should, should let you know that the, the, the scriptures are, 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 are real. They're living. They're breathing. Okay? Man. Let's see, it's just that uh scripture said give me any plague. The plague of the heart. <clears throat> this is uh Ecclesiasticus. Uh, what we at twenty-five and thirteen. It says, Give me any plague, but the plague of the heart. Right, the plague of the mind, insane in the membrane. Okay, and any wickedness, but the wickedness of a woman, because you see what the woman did to her own mother, man. Sickening. That's very sickening, man. And and the heavenly Father brings these type of judgments every, every, every morning. Let's get that. This is Zephaniah 3 and 5. It says, The just law is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning do if he bringeth his judgment to light. He faileth not. But the unjust knoweth no shame. <laughs> See? Every morning do the Lord bring forth his judgment. And that's why we're always constantly doing lessons and, and I don't know how it's in Bible ways to tell our people to repent. Because any day the Lord can bring judgment upon you. As it is written in one of my favorites, Ecclesiastes 9. It says, <laughs> For man, Ecclesiastes 9 and 12 says, For man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in the evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare. So are the sons of men snared in the evil time when it falleth suddenly upon them. That's right. And the evil time fell upon that mother. All right. That evil time fell upon uh, those jakes that was uh, uh, caught in the uh, Baltimore Bridge. Our people fail to realize that the Lord brings these judgments and there's no one that perish. Okay, being innocent. Job 4 and 7, because people will look at this and say, oh, it's a sad situation. You know, her mom didn't deserve it. All right. But not according to the scriptures. That's why, you know, uh, the hopeful elect is going to tread lightly. You know, like walking on eggshells and try not try not to offend the Heavenly Father by going off to the best of their ability because, you know, Lord willing, we, you know, I'm, you know, we're part of that number, the sincere um, brothers and sisters, the whole full elect. We know that the Lord brings judgment every day and that no one perish being innocent. We're all worthy of, of, of being sent back to the spirit world for the things that we have done on this earth. 
All right. This is Job 4 and 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent. Or where were the righteous cut off? Yeah, because the Lord is not going to cut off the righteous. We're all worthy, man. This is even as I've seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. So this woman did not repent. And she's from New York. I mean, I'm sure she's heard the word. I did a scripture on that earlier, earlier in the week. Have they not heard? Yes, verily. The sound has went out. The sound has went out, man. So a lot of our people is not taking heed to this word. Judgment's coming your way. All right. But well, I just wanted to touch on that. You know, Lord, that's what's edifying, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Heavenly Father's only God Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Akakwadash, double honor to our apostles, great millstone, Shalom.